Hi, and welcome to this edition of Tech Tuesday. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. Instead of lighting a person or showing you how I set up uh, something for a people shot, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up something uh, real simple, easy to use, inexpensive setup for small tabletops. Okay, and this all came about because I went to this optical shop here in town that has some great designer frames. Uh, the name of it is Optical Arts. Mary is the owner. Small business, you know, and she does all her own photography and she has somebody do her website, but I was looking at the stuff she had and started talking to her about her brand and her brand image. And she's very high end as far as the frames go, but her photography was not quite reaching that level. So I asked her if I could give her a hand, help her out, and show her how she can create much better pictures for very little price. Okay, and that's what it's all about. And so that's what I wanna show you uh, how to do here. Very quick, simple. If you're selling things on like eBay or you're doing stuff for your own website, which is small products, this is a great way to go. So let's get started. Number one, uh, this is a, a product by FJ Westcott. It's called the Digitent. And really up till now, I haven't really used it, but this is a perfect example of where this comes into play. So let me pop this out. It's very portable, obviously. Um, folds right up and out. Okay, there is the Digitent right there. Okay, so there's the basic Digitent. Very simple, very easy to to uh, assemble, obviously, and it comes with a couple different things uh, for background if you want to do like a white sweep, it has that, and then it also has a black fabric in here that connects with Velcro to the back, so you can have a black sweep also. Alrighty, so let's put this down. Now the one thing that uh, I looked at with, with the glass frames anyway, was the fact that, you know, you really need light coming all around it in order to uh, basically get the reflections because a lot of hers has a lot of color in it. Uh, many of them are, are metal, you know? And so I wanted to make sure that all of that really showed through in the, in the final photo so that you could see all the characteristics of her frames, okay? Um, she also does something that's called tattoos in that, which is like a, um, a uh, design on the actual uh, glass or, or lens. So we have to show all that, the colors and everything. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, okay? And I picked up, this is actually, it's, it's 83.95 retail, okay? So by the time you get, you know, you go to a dealer, they might have it for a little bit less, probably right around that same, but 84 bucks, okay? Very cheap for a light modifier, okay? And what I did was I went to Home Depot and I got basically a fluorescent light. This has two of the round uh, bulbs in it to even it out a bit. And I just picked this up, it was 50 bucks. Okay, so all together here you got, you know, 80, you got 135 bucks. Okay, and you got a nice little tabletop setup. Uh, and here's what you got. It's got pretty much a flat top to it. I just wired it up with a standard grounded cord. Okay, I'm gonna just set that in there. Real simple. And I'm gonna plug that puppy in Okay, and so basically you have a, 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 a light table, okay? And when I put these frames on there, it's gonna light everything. And, and uh, it, it's a little bit co counterintuitive because you would think that uh, with a light like this, it would reflect into the lenses and it would wash them right out, uh, but it actually doesn't. It's a nice, even light. There's no reflection on the lens. I'm gonna do a couple shots here, show you what we have. Cool, and I always shoot on manual so that I can adjust it because with a light table like this, you would not be able to get the correct exposure because it's gonna read off of you know, your, your light here, your, your light table, and it's gonna underexpose your actual product. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you shoot it on manual all the time. Okay, let me get a couple more shots and we're getting some really good color. Now, if you do get any type of Reflection, you can always pop on a polarizer and that would generally take care of any, you know, incidental type reflections that you might get, but it's very even. You're getting nice color all around it 
And the only other thing that I would show you is this is very unique for this particular product. There's some other products that would look good on this, okay? But I did it specifically for the glasses. But the other thing that you can do, and the nice thing about the Digitent is the fact that you have the, you know, all the sides are basically a diffused material, so you can shoot light through these too. So let's say I put my camera up here, okay? I'm getting nice light coming up along the sides and in the front, on the bottom, obviously, but I need some more light on the top, okay? So what I'm going to do is basically, you can always add light to it, obviously, and I'm gonna grab one of the uh, FJ Westcott Spiderlite TD6, okay? And the one thing that you always have to be uh, the, the one thing that you always have to be aware of also is color temperature. Now these two lights are different color temperature, okay? Um, but what I'd want to do is get a daylight balance tube in here to match the daylight balance tubes in the TD6, okay? But as you can see, put that right up to the side there and you got really nice even light all the way around. You still have some, uh, you know, you still have some contour in that but it's a nice light, it's perfect for, I mean, you can literally toss products in here all day long and shoot a hundred different products pretty quickly, okay? Nice, easy, if you're eBay selling or if you're, you're shooting products for your website, uh, this is perfect. It's nice, easy to, easy to make, easy to, uh, very easy to take, take down and store. Uh, by the time I take this down, fold that all up, it can fit in a drawer, literally. So, a uh, real nice, easy solution, and very inexpensive. I hope this helps you out with some of your quick tabletop type solutions for products. And if you have any questions, make sure you email me and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, check out my blog, ericegleyphotography.com slash blog. And also, say hi to me on Facebook. We'll talk to you soon, thanks.